I think the New York Jets have a little bit of a safety problem. Not the end of the world, but uh, something that needs some solving. And I think there are three steps the New York Jets should take. So Chuck Clark goes down. I think he was the best safety on the roster. You know, not saying he was Ed Reed, but I think he was the best safety on the roster, even including Adrian Amos. Obviously, Joe Douglas thinks Chuck Clark is better than Adrian Amos. If he didn't, he would have saved his seventh round draft pick and just signed Adrian Amos two months ago. Now, Amos, 2020, elite. Before that, very good and underrated. 2021, above average starter. 2022, fell off a cliff, was horrible. And that, again, I, I can't be the channel of every single free agent signing is a beast and amazing and a monster. I'm just, it is what it is. This is the player that we have to reasonably expect that we're getting. And, okay, defensive backs after 30 who have two years of declining in a row, usually it's curtains. Usually. Usually you're toast. Now, Stefan Gilmore. There's exceptions. I thought he was washed like three times and he bounced back. So can Adrian Amos maybe in a better defense? And there was lots of questions about the Packers defensive coaching last year. If he can be 75% of his 2020 self, that will be a passable enough starter at safety with all the other talent that we have on defense. And then we're pretty much good to go. You can't be perfect everywhere. But if he's who he was last year, leaking yards and coverage is as bad as any safety in the league then we're not even that much better than LaMarcus Joyner. And we would all agreed that that was a massive hole uh, that will be exploited by good teams, especially when we get to the playoffs. And that should be the goal. So I think what the Jets are going to do is see how Adrian Amos in this secondary with Amos and Whitehead looks, how that looks in training camp. And if Amos looks like, you know, 75% of his former self, uh, then we're good to go. But if he really looks like he has lost multiple steps, then I think the Jets need to go ahead and kick the tires on somebody like John Johnson and Rodney McLeod to just throw another body and stick a bunch uh, of people together and let the best guy win. And because the best guy maybe isn't Adrian Amos. Maybe there's a guy who's better who can still be had for a cheap contract. Also, maybe Trey Dean uh, or you know, Muddy Waters or uh, Tony Adams or Bernard Converse uh, pop and camp and we're really feeling optimistic there that's all good and well but we got to check on on Amos's legs and how they look in camp and if they don't look good then I think we got to bring another body in so that's that's number one uh number two I think that the Jets now need should sign Quan Alexander I thought that before but I think more so uh Chuck Clark played everywhere he took uh reps at linebacker at slot at edge and I think he was going to provide, you know, some linebacker role on passing downs that I don't think Adrian Amos or really any of our safeties can do as well as Chuck Clark. So there's a versatility loss there. So bringing back Quan, I think, is even more important now. Uh, that's number two. And then finally, we talked about, you know, Tony Adams. I think the Jets, let it be a truly open competition. I think that this coaching staff has, you know, I know Michael Floor is gone, so we'll see with Hackett, but I've seemed to favor older players and sometimes to a little bit of a fault. And yes, you want to be a veteran team in a win-now mode, but dude, if Tony Adams is just better than Adrian Amos, uh, he's got to play. So that's what I would do. Check in on Amos's legs. If they're not good, bring in another body. Bring back Quan, and uh, let the kids have a real shot at winning the job if they're the best for it. And we'll talk all soon.